Hey Jerry and Jones people. What we've got here is a load of, a load of toys, a hell of a load, four massive crates. I don't know what's in them. I've been told it's not overly spectacular, but you take the good with the bad. This same gentleman I'm selling this gear for is also um, setting his style vintage collection shortly. So you take your lumps, you do your hard yards. Let's find out what's in here. Hell of a load, four monster crates. Let's have a look. I've got a bad feeling. Surprise me with Star Trek, but we'll see. This has come all the way from Queensland. It's WA. She didn't take that long, surprisingly. Some of the couriers are pretty good. I often use these guys before. This was Team Global Express. They've come pretty good. I think it was relatively priced as well. Relatively well priced. Let's have a look. Great one. What do you got? Half of a Darth Vader helmet, hopefully I've got the other half, I want my kids video. This could be a long video. Alright, here's some trading cards. So, start with those. Good. So this looks like largely modernish Star Wars. I'd say this is some, some kind of bootleg print. Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, there's a couple of them. A lot of this stuff is cheap and stuff, it's nothing new. Going for stupid dollars. I'm trying to figure this out so I can put it back in the crate without making a ridiculous mess. Oh yeah, got some Star Wars vintage reference. I'm pretty sure that's for Warrior Pro, so that'll all be getting burnt. I might even do a burn video. Um, but there's some catalogues. Vintage Star Wars catalogues. Some wiring parts. Um, a few of those fan-made coins from the conventions. So there's some interesting little trinkets, Star Wars vintage. Oh yeah, there's the other half of the Levator helmet, so. Where else we got in here? Oh yeah, that's one of those um, Proud of the Force 2 canteens. I won't get too much detail here because this video will go forever. Put it on the side of the edge, the that. Bit of a top fighter, modern. Then you got some random Star Wars cheapy stuff. Just vintage Jedi trading cards. Not to be in the best of condition now. We got uh, this would be a Palace Force 2 mail over. Yeah, one of those Spirit of Ben, Ghost of Ben Kenobi mail or something wrong. So that's largely this one, back in a moment. It comes on, I have to tap this one outside because I just didn't have enough room inside for it. Uh, box is that bloody big. Getting this back in the box could be tricky. So that was a great one. Nothing overly special, but I always have a few goodies. Double front. Great tea. Well, at least so far. Star Trek, being hard crates, I can go berserk with a knife. Uh, too much fear. Got a local Facebook group called Buy Nothing where they give away stuff, and I've given away that many crates. They seem to breed. They seem to breed them. What toys I get? Box two. So we got. Cool attack base box, so it's promising to start with. A weird model airplane, it's random as it gets. Hoth Trooper, that's clearly a custom bat. And then we got three. Not on the sphere of ink and everything. Some weird little Japanese helmet collection, I don't even know what that is. Um, modern ceramic salt and pepper shaker, so this is not high end. Some power of the force too, junk and bits and pieces, modern. I'm not even gonna open that, no. And then there's six of these guys, these epic force figures. I've sold a few of them lately, I wanna play a little while ago. Wait the whole lot, but 
they're not in the best of condition, so they'll be pretty cheap. All right, box two is quick. Oh, man. I thought this was going to take forever. I'll be done in five minutes. Box two. Box three. Oh, this one's a huge one. Interesting still working out. I love my box cutter. Filming this is time lapse of the second camera in front of me, too, so I'm going quite fast. So that's going to turn go through pretty funny, I reckon. Um, an insert for LP, I think. Star Wars. Jedi, vintage Jedi Vault. Some weird computer looking loot Bespin. Looks like it's got a light underneath. Interesting. I'm not much across all this modern gear, so figure it out loud. Some Stormtrooper tin. Three more of these Epic Force figures. Rogue One tin. Just right. Star Wars junk. What a man. Oh yeah, we got some more of these trading cards. This is a cool set. Widescreen looking ones, they're pretty cool. Again, I don't know much about them, but I'll figure it out and they'll be coming your way. Alright, so, and a little bubble. This is largely um, budget pieces. I did know that this wasn't spectacular stuff coming. The good stuff's in the next delivery, but hey, it's all toys, someone wants it. Like I said, you've got to take the good with the bad sometimes. Not every box is vintage magic. Most are with me, but not everyone. This one's actually got styrofoam on top of the plastic bag, so it has the big fella. Surprise me. There's some good stuff in one of these. We'll see. Okay. Give me something. Vintage. It's up with another cracking from the group. Got to change the blade on this box now. Box up. Alright, that was a bit of a hack job. Just trying to fly through this video. Some selling to do. Alright, was it worth it? We'll find out. So we got vintage case, one of those Star Wars, the Bali, yeah, that's pretty common. The matching of the Vader, a little weird pewter light up lights. And ESP, one of these. Slightly more desirable. Deep anniversary Vader and coin album. George Lucas, that's that Stormtrooper mint on card. I'm not going to open it. I don't know what it is. Some laminated posters of Empire, Star Wars, Jedi, etc. There are reprints. Pretty sure you're laminated. You almost cooked their value. Lego, Star Wars character encyclopedia. Oh, look at this. It's the Imperial Legion calendar. The one and only. Made by yours truly. This is 2018. This is a bit of a uh, blush from the past. In 2018, I did a competition in the Australian Imperial Legion where each month you send your photos in and you nominate someone to be score that month. Some great photos. These are insane. So these are all group members, and they have, these are all. Yeah. That's cool. That's a bit of a blush from the past. Comment in there if you got one of them or if that reminds you of anything. Blue snag, eh? Who has one of blue snag? Okay, it's pretty. It's a gentle giant, but. That's alright, blue snake on all this. I used to have that. Pretty cool. Massive visual encyclopedia. There's some archive toy figure. There's some random modern ish books. Oh, Escape from the Death Star game. That's the one that comes with Tarkin. Whole bunch of bug words. I don't even know what that is. It's just an empty trailer. 
some coin holders, vintage coin holders. Money box. Couple of key rings, more than key rings. Random roll block. Might open that, could be interesting. Um, sick. What was that mask? My head is too big, man. My missus always says I got a big head. She's not wrong. Bloody hell. That's not designed for an adult my size or a head size like mine. Anyway, some random book fair helmet. Just remember that one from my son. And that's it. There's a 12 inch hand on Luke Stormtrooper Yard yeah, modern. I'm not going to pull it out because it's fair. It's very good money, man. So, yeah, it's a lot of modern, modern Star Wars gear. Yeah. It does sell. But not for a lot. That's all right. We'll get rid of it. So, what have we got in this thing? This intrigues me because it looks like a relatively old. Uh, it's not too cool now. Relatively old poster roll, but it's not. It's like, I actually had this. It's actually pretty cool. Star Wars vintage figure poster. Do I think? It's not. I don't think it's licensed. I think it's their party job. Pretty cool. It's not meant to have a ripping it, but. Got some on warrant. Gotta be worth the price of postage, plus five bucks. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyway, this gear will all come your way. Um, it's not gonna be highly priced, it's a couple of cool vintage items, but it's largely more than gear. So, I know some of, you, some of you guys out there collect it. I may, may or may not have to share this on some other Facebook pages and eBay, etc. It is what it is. Not said no everything's a on cap drawer, is it? Or please don't. Or vintage magic, so yeah. I try to ideally sell 90% vintage toys, but I'm helping someone out. You can't just say, no, nah, I don't want it. That's rough. But it's a top dude. Anyway, guys, this skill is all coming your way. Hopefully, someone's got a head smaller than mine for this Boba Fett helmet because. Let's face it, it ain't happening with this melon. I think it's supposed to go further down than that. Not on my melon. Alright, thanks guys. The videos keep coming. The next one, I promise you, will be a ton of vintage. It's on the way. We've got a couple on the way. Um, killer stuff coming up, but thanks for watching. If you enjoy these, like, have a comment, give me some crap. I don't care, I can take it. I've got a thick skin. Thanks guys, keep bringing it.